Hi everybody and welcome to the fourth video of this series where we make an 8-ball pool game using only JavaScript and HTML5. In the last video we created a mouse handler object that helps us get information about the mouse input. After that we set the stick position to be the same as the mouse position and we defined that once we click the left button on the mouse it should log a new message in the console. So that caused the stick to follow my mouse and its movement and you could see here in the console that every time I click the left button on my mouse you can see a new message here in the console. There is something that bothers me about this implementation because even though the stick and the mouse share the same position you can see that the mouse is all the way to the left and it's not on the center of the stick. The reason that happens is because when we draw the stick using the canvas context, we give it a position and the canvas context treats this position as the top left corner of the image. So in order to fix that, we'll need to introduce a new vector that we'll call the origin of the object. In the canvas.js file, we'll change the implementation of the draw image method we'll add another argument that will go origin. Before we do anything else here, let's just validate uh, that the position that we got to this function is not null or undefined. So if it is, we should set it to be a new vector to object and that will mean that is x and y values will be zeros. Let's do the same for the origin. So if not origin, origin will be a new vector to object and now we can use the canvas context save method in order to save the current state of the context then we can make changes in it and then we can restore it to the same state so this dot canvas context dot save and now we can translate the context to a different position. So this dot canvas context dot translate position dot x and position dot y. Now in the draw image method of the canvas context, we don't need to send the position anymore. We can just delete that and instead send the origin, that means where we want to draw our top left corner so minus origin dot x and minus origin dot y and that's of course relative to the position that we are in right now and now we can restore the canvas context to the last saved state so now let's go back to the stick.js file and let me fix this position to be a new vector to object and let's set it randomly to be 400 by 400 and let's add a new property this dot origin and set it to be a new vector and for now we'll set it to be 500 by 10 and now in the draw method of the stick object I can just add this origin and let's see what happens so let's refresh the browser and now you can see that the pointer is on the middle of the stick. On the assets.js file, let's load another sprite and let's call this sprite white ball. And obviously that will be the sprite of the white ball and the image is located on spr underscore white ball dot png. Now I will create a new file that go by the name of ball.js and here I'm going to define a new constant that I'll call ball origin and I'm going to set it to be a new vector of 25 by 25. Now I will define a new function constructor that I will call ball and it will get as an argument a position and I will set uh, this dot position to be the position that we got as an argument and let's write two functions for the ball object so ball.prototype 
dot uh, update equals new function and ball dot ball dot prototype dot draw equals a function and here I'm going to call the canvas and to draw an image and just for now I'm going to draw the white balls image even though not all the balls in the game are going to be white but it is just for now and the position will be uh, this dot position and the origin will be the balls origin constant so let's go to the index.html file and add a reference to the script file that we just wrote so here I will write uh, script src and ball.js now let's go to the game world and add a new member and let's call this member white ball and it will be equal a new ball object with uh, a new position on the update method I want to update our new member so this dot white ball dot update and inside the draw method I want to draw the white ball so this dot white ball dot draw back in the browser let's refresh and we can see that the white ball is drawn on the canvas back in our code let's go to the stick.js file and I will change the function constructor of the stick to get a position from outside so this dot position will be equal the position argument that we got and also I'm going to define a new constant that I'm going to call stick origin and it will be equal a new vector 2 of 970 by 11 now on the draw function I don't need to send this dot origin anymore I will send the stick origin and I'm going to delete the this dot origin uh, member now I'll go to the game world and here I'm going to set the position of the stick to be the same as the position of the white ball and back in stick.js I will comment out all this code that we wrote for testing back in our browser let's refresh and now you can see the positions of the white ball and the stick don't worry in few moments you will realize why we did all that okay so there's another aspect that I want to add to the game and it is the rotation of the stick and I found this really good article online that explains exactly what I'm going to do in the code um, so I'm going to leave a link down below to this article and also explain it uh, briefly so um, let's say that here instead of a cat we have a stick and this is the position of the mouse so we want to rotate the stick so it will point towards the mouse uh, how are we going to do that? we need to find this angle for that so in order to find this angle we need to find the opposite and the adjacent and in order to find the opposite we can subtract the um, stick y position from the mouse y position and in order to find the adjacent we can subtract the stick x position from the um, mouse x position so uh, we know that tangents of this angle is opposite divided by adjacent so we can just apply the arc tangent function on both sides and then we can find this angle back in stick.js let's delete those lines of code that we use for testing and let's add a new property that we'll call this.rotation and initially it will be zero 
Now let's add a new method to the stick object and let's call this method update rotation and that will be equal a function. Now we need to calculate the opposite. So let opposite be mouse dot position dot y minus this dot position dot y and the adjacent be mouse dot position dot x minus this dot position dot x and now we can use the arctangent function inside the math um, class so math 8 and 2 and we can send the opposite and the adjacent and we'll get the angle to this dot rotation and inside the update method I'm going to call this dot update rotation finally we'll open the canvas.js file and update the draw image method so it will get also a rotation and let's give it a default value of zero and here after we save the canvas context state we can rotate the canvas context so this dot canvas context dot rotate and here I'm going to send the rotation and inside stick.js I'm going to send this dot rotation to the draw image method. Let's save and now go back to our browser and refresh and now you can see that the stick is rotating so it points towards the position of my mouse. Okay, so before we finish this video, let me give you a little challenge. If you code alongside with me, you already have all the tools to implement the next step. Here you'll see that when I press the left button on my mouse, the stick is being pulled away from the white ball. And once I release it, it shoots the ball towards the position of the mouse. So let me demonstrate. Okay, great. So give it a shot. This is what we'll implement the next time. This is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching it and stay tuned for more. Goodbye.